everybody. This will be my bloodlust video. I've got the palette, the mirror. And the channel. I've also got the Queen Bee lip set. It's the velour liquid lips. I've got my daughter sitting next to me. And then I wasn't able to get the Extreme Frost or all the glosses, but I got four of the glosses. I got Introgescent Throne, which is like a light purpley color. Emma loves all of them. They're all Emma approved. And then Sorcery, which is sort of like a pink glittery one, which I think is beautiful as well. Emma loves all of these. She's already had her fun with them. My face is a little prepped. I put a lot of moisturizer on it. Let's see. And then I've got Sickening, which is like this beautiful purple. I will do swatches of some things. I'm not sure what all I'll swatch. I think probably the the blue or liquid lips and maybe these lip glosses. But I do want to do a get ready with me. I don't know how long this will take. I know that I tried to charge my camera and it's still freaking charging it takes forever to those things to charge this is lord star this is the one i'm the most interested in i'm not gonna lie this is the one that when i saw it i wanted it the only one that one i didn't get was wizard's glass which was sort of like a like a taupey glitter type with taupey purple reflect looking thing it was beautiful didn't get it but that's okay because you know what I got a lot of other good stuff and I'm ready to roll. It took a while for Beautylish to send my order. They were a little yeah. behind on it. Oh, bye bye. Um, right. So we're gonna, first of all, we are going to prep our face with this pure four in one. It's a correcting primer. Do you guys wanna see Emma? She's way cuter than me. Say hi, Em. See, she's got crazy hair. She's using her brushes to paint, makeup brushes. They're just brushes I'm not using at the moment. She's really, I mean, she's a little, she's a two year old, so she's not gonna be like the most gentle with them, but she's a lot more, yeah. sorry about that big shake, but she's a lot more gentle than I thought she would be. So I don't really mind her using my stuff. So we've got plenty of primer out in the back of my hand here. There. That's right, but sweet girl. The bad I don't know what she's saying, but all right. Now so I'm just gonna so yeah, I'm calling myself mommy because I don't like her. Just gonna prime the old face here, get in the pore areas and the parts of my face that get the most dry are right now under I'm here. Me. Now I went in and I used the Tasha um, Dewy Skin me. Moisturizer already. And I also did like a little roll with a rose quartz roller. So we're ready to roll. Now, um, I always do my eyeshadow first. And we're not going to stop doing that. That's just my way of rolling. That's how I, how I function. So I'm going to put that down and let that primer get into my skin. Use my beautiful crown mirror. Yeah. Which Emma likes, and you can see she already kind of got like the corners of it with a brush, but whatever. It can be cleaned. It's no big deal. I have the most beautiful two-year-old ever. And speaking of beautiful, you guys, she is beautiful. And my friend Jordan said that this was like a sticker and that he's sorry he kind of peeled his up a little bit. I'm not going to mess with it much. And I heard other people yeah. say stuff about that. Yeah. Now, thank you, sweetheart. She's so polite. I don't know where she gets that from. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, so I'm looking on the back of this. Crystal's telling me that, yeah, it says 120 months or something like that on this little thing down here. Because I always worry about using stuff up to, or not using stuff up and then going bad but honestly 
I just, it's only in the past couple years that I've gotten into um, Jeffree Star makeup. I was just using Walmart makeup and then found Jeffree Star through a group online and I'm all in love. All right, so I haven't even peeled the papers off of it. She's got a little sticky thing on the mirror. I think I will peel that off. Some peel porn for you as Christine or Simply Neological likes to say. Oh, did you hear that? That was nice. And then we're gonna take this little protector, like a hexagon, and show you guys the beautiful palette. That is just gorgeous, and I don't know where I want to start with this beautiful baby. Oops. It is really pretty. I hope that when we do move, that we move into a place where I can have my makeup sort of sorted out a little bit better than it is at the current situation. So I'm going to use Revolution Pro um, Eye Elements in the color Central as my primer. And I am probably going to gross some people out, so I'm going to use a brush. If I don't use a brush, I know some people are going to be like, ew. But I am how I am. So I'm going to use a little brush. And we are going to prime these lids of mine. I wonder what we're going to do today. Should we do like a cut crease situation or something? I think it's going to be fun. Got my little bestie with me today. We haven't really done a lot today. It's been of a slow morning we got up a little late i couldn't sleep because i had caffeine and then i had this stuff that's supposed to it's like a calming um herb situation it's supposed to be good for stress it helps your adrenals and your thyroid um which i thought i would give it a go you know why not and uh because i got it like a really good coupon on it it was like 14 dollars, and it's regularly like a 20 dollar product and that was the biggest mistake of my life in a while well not the biggest mistake of my life i can be a little dramatic um it was a big huge mistake i don't know why i did that i don't know why i thought it was a good idea i'm regretting that decision because i was up late last night my child was sleeping beautifully because she didn't take her nap she skipped her nap yesterday and she's trying to drop a nap so she was you know perfectly sleeping and here I am not sleeping when I could be sleeping because I hadn't been sleeping. It's, I think I told you guys in my last video, I haven't been sleeping good in months. Because this one's going through a ghost spurt or something, I don't know. But it has been hard to get a good night's sleep. And when I had the opportunity to get a good night's sleep, I didn't. So I always rely on these brushes. I know some people are not crazy about double-ended brushes but these are from mascara beauty and i just really i learned how to to put on makeup with these brushes so they're my favorite plus they've got when you're done with one side you can go to the other side and use one of the brushes on the other side and i really really like that that's just such a beautiful thing so i am going to use some of the things that i learned from um robert walsh videos watching his videos his little tutorials and he's, he's a makeup artist out of the UK he's fantastic I think I talk about him almost every time I do a video now because besides Jeffree Star he's like my favorite um, makeup person right now and he's just very helpful um, I learned how to wash my face properly because from him recently in one of his videos so that's good okay we'll keep this somewhere nearby but let's see where this mama wants to start Emma, what color should mommy wear on her eye? Emma, what color should mommy start with? There. Okay. She's not interested in helping. I thought I might turn this into those what it might my kid pick my makeup videos or something silly like that, start a new trend, but it's not going to happen. Emma's not feeling it. Emma's playing Peppa Pig on her tablet. So, at least she's happy. So I'm looking at all these beautiful shades. Now I'm wearing a deep purple. So any of these purples will look pretty. But I always like to start with a deeper color and put the deeper color out here and in this part of the socket here. I just sort of like build like a, a little cat eye. 
there. So I think that I am going to go with all these are so freaking beautiful. And I want to do just purple today. I'll just let you know that right from the get go. I'm just, I'm wanting a purple look. I think I'm going to start with Blood Queen right here. I really hate going over these um, beautiful designs that they ever so carefully selected to be stamped into it. So I'm going to use the mirror in the palette as my mirror because, I mean, I do have the crown mirror, but I don't feel that extra. Yes, sweetheart. Oh, exactly. So they always say, or Robert has said, this starts on your eye that you, that gives you the most trouble. The one that is not your favorite. So I'm going to start on this eye, because this eye usually is me now. I'm just going to pop that on in there. Now I can use my other hand, but then I feel like when I do that, because I'm ambidextrous, but if I do that, then it blocks your view of my face too much. And I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm just laying down that color and I'm gonna go in and blend it in a minute, but I just wanna lay that color right there in deep in that socket crease. There. Right on in there. I'm gonna try to make sure that I stop these in the same places. It's really hard though because this the way this brow bone comes out is it's thicker on this side. And it's kinda hangs down into my eye a little bit more on that side somehow. So yeah. But yeah, I got the next two days off to be my with my little sweetheart. So far she's been playing on tablets too much for my taste, but that's my fault because I was trying to get the camera charged and I just wanted to get my bloodlust video going because I've well, let's face it, I've been excited to play with this. I mean I'm having so much fun being home, but you know, I also want my kid to be able to play and me be able to play. All right, so I'm gonna take the brush, it's the blender brush with the big fluffy blender side. Um, I clean these regularly, but they get stained pink from all the reds and pinks that I like to wear. Um, but I'm gonna take the end of the brush, hold it like this with one finger down like that, just so that I can lightly take it and in circles twirl that around a little bit. So I'm blending those colors naturally. And they can go in the lid a little bit. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, that's, you know, kind of encouraged for it to go down into the lid. And this is how you're going to get a natural line and a natural progression of that line. Because, you know, some people, like I used to be one of those people that would try to put it all the way almost up to my eyebrows because I get so excited about the color and I'd want as much color as I could put down. So I would just put it on in there and it would go too high. And then I'd be like, why is my eyeshadow up to my eyebrows all the time? Like, what's going on? So Robert Walsh taught me. So we know, no. And we are now going to be more careful. I'm going to put a little bit more blood queen in there because I don't feel like that's the dramatic look I was going for yet. So I'm going to take my brush. You'll notice that I'm doing this with it because I'm kind of just squaring it off and trying to create that baseline for the cat eye I want to create with this eyeshadow. This one's a little bit harder because I don't get as much light on this side of my face in this house. So maybe I should switch it up and do this eye first. I don't know. When I'm home. I feel like the other problem with that one is the shape of that that brow bone though that just sticks out so much more so much more thick than this one. This one's a little bit more fluid into my head. Everything got quiet suddenly. She's playing Peppa Pig. Of course, uh, I don't want to get copyrighted a lot on this. this. I don't own the rights to Peppa Pig. I'll put that in my description as well. It's just a game my child found and is playing and enjoys the heck out of. She is the few, huge Peppa Pig fanatic lately. Well, she's kind of always been. 
So she discovered her in daycare. I think they had Peppa Pig stuff in daycare. Because she would come home talking about Peppa Pig. That one actually looks really, really pretty. I just like the shape of my eye and this side of my head a little bit better. And just prettier. Do you guys have a favorite eyeball? Like one eye that just almost always looks better than the other one? No matter what you do? So I'm not going to be using um, concealer anymore because I learned concealer isn't a good base because it's not, it's moisturizing in some spots and then in some spots it's not as moisturizing and not as thick. It kind of just doesn't spread evenly. So that's not, it doesn't create a good base for your eyeshadow because your eyes are already a little bit more greasy than the rest of your face. You need a product that's specially created just for making eyeshadow clean on. Which is very cool. Okay. Alright, I do have little brush cleaners that I will use. I'm still a huge fan of Mascara Beauty. I carry these little restore brushes in my bag. And then we'll just kind of Clean that out a little bit. Daddy, isn't George is too small to go to my play group? Dinosaur. Okay, so see how much cleaner that comes out? Just so fast. I just clean them every time I use them which they get used a lot. Yesterday, I had to, because I run late a lot of times, so I have to bring my makeup to work with me. And yesterday, I brought um, Jawbreaker, and mini Jawbreaker, and did my makeup with that. Y'all, I got a gum nick, and, or, well, it was from that little plastic piece that was in there in the wet jewel, and I'm so mad at myself. It's so beautiful, but... How could I, right? All right, so next I'm gonna go into this shade right here. It's like a sh shimmery. It's called Pink Magic, just because it's beautiful and I need it for my eyeballs. Did you not use Mommy's concealer brush? Thank you. You have all those other brushes, silly thing. All right, so we're gonna lay this pink magic down. We can put her out here. Oh, it's brilliant. That's my brother. Now she's all down with having her brother at the school with her. She wasn't before, but. Then everybody thought her brother was cool, so now she's cool. That's how it usually works, being a big sister. I have the unique perspective of being able to claim little and big sister, being the middle sister. That's kind of fun. That is so pretty. Like, that is so freaking pretty. Holy cow. That color just looks so beautiful. Don't want to blend it too far out. So yeah, the thing that um, Robert talks about in his video is that how you hold the brush is actually one of the things that plays into how your color comes out. So that I think is super duper cool. Okay, let's get that. Er, dinosaur. All right, so we're gonna choose another color. Do I want to do royal pink? No, because I said I wanted to do as much purple as possible. And even though pink magic 
It says, has pink in the name. It's not really that pink on me. It looks very purple. And I, and I layered it over the Blood Queen. But I think, I think I'm going to go in with Vivid Mood, which is that right here. I'm going to put her on next. Okay, so I'll fix this a little bit. We're just gonna pull, push that into the socket, into that crease. Same on this side, push it into the socket, into that crease, and just kind of marry those colors together. Can you take pink magic and do you take vivid mood? Be your lawfully wedded eyeshadow colors. Spam calls. See, this is a good reason why I wanted to use my camera. Don't bite the brushes. You silly thing. She's got holding it in her mouth like a bone, like a dog with a bone. See, I went over here a little bit. I always do when I get into the inner part of my eyes. Because my eyes are so deeply set that they just give me hell. Okay. Okay, ready. Lindy, Lindy, Lindy. She's ready. Lindy, 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 Lindy. So, so you blend it out. Oh, no, I just... It's just doing so much better. It's so much more of a flat surface than this other eye. It's so bumpy and bony. I just need to figure out how to do this eye to make this eye look more like that eye. It's like I've had Bell's palsy or something or had a stroke. So one side of my face is just so different than the other. But it's because of that time period when I was really badly anorexic and I got that eye infection. Bye -bye. <sighs> Please eat good, girls and boys. Please eat good. Do not think that... Yes, mommy's going to do a cut crease. You want some? Okay, you can have this one. So we're going to give Emma just a little bit of beauty sleep. Just a hair bit. Okay. You're putting it on your eyes. Good job. Beautiful. You want to see how you look? Here, see how you look. Oh, no, no, no. Don't take my I'm trying to take. You want a mirror? Where's your mirror? It's right here. This is the mirror I'm letting her use. That's your looking glass. Emma! You are not going to be able to touch any of mommy's stuff if you throw things. I understand you like more makeup. More color? Okay, I'll get more color. <laughs> Alright, there color. you go. More color. You're ready to roll. When they're this little, they don't know better. Okay, I'm going to do a cut crease. I'm back in with the Revolution Pro. No! That is mama's. You have your own brushes. Use your brushes. That is okay. She doesn't want the fan brush. It's okay. So I think I might just do the inner. Gosh, I love this eye so much more than I like my other eye. Like, why can't both my eyeballs look the same? Eyeballs so much nicer. Going on in there. Is anybody uh, still working on their New Year's resolutions or have we all forgotten what we wanted to do for New Year's? I'm still trying to be mindful 
my resolution was one of my resolutions was to take better care of my skin and while my skin you can tell is still not perfect I'm learning things I'm opening my mind to other things to try to get my skin back to its former glory but it's hard because after you have a kid your chemistry changes so much a text message probably from your father. It's a spammy, a spammy text message. Okay, so I like block these every time I get them. Does anybody ever get those? So something about a package. There's no package. I have no packages waiting. I'm, I'm not an idiot. Boxy Charm will let me know when my Boxy Charm is coming. Oh, Y'all, I'm really looking at this box and I just took such a big chunk out of my wet jewel. I got too overexcited. I'll probably hit pan on that one first. So I'm trying to think of what I want to put down in the spot that I cut. I'm thinking I want to do the wet jewel. Or take the crown. <laughs> Let's do take the crown. Take the crown is this purple one up here. Because she's a little bit more dry than I was expecting, but that's okay. We can work with dry. Just put her on in there and just pack her on. Oh, that's so pretty though. I already like it. That's right, Emma. That's right, Emma girl. That's so pretty. And then after this, once I'm all made up and everything, I'm gonna go play outside with my kid. She needs some outside clothes on, get her out of those jam jams. She will wear her jammies all day long. She's such my girl, just so my girl. Wear jammies all day long, no problem with it. Constantly joking with Andy that this whole like, they're talking about possibly like keeping everybody inside and and um that's the word I'm looking for. Why can't I think? Um quarantining us to our own homes. That's like a thing that people are discussing at this point in time in this juncture in this area. And I'm like, I am so ready because I have been planning um, I've been building this for this my whole life. It's just been my whole life's goal. So I've got this little pointy end here on yeah. this. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm shaking it too much, but this side of one of my brushes has got like a little pointy thing. Now, sometimes I wet it, sometimes I don't. Um, I'm gonna just use a little moisture from here just to wet it just a hair. And we are going to use Blood Queen, which is that purple that's on the outer outside of my eye as an eyeliner, just slightly. No, 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 no. No, ma'am. tied up there by my eyelashes on the bottom part of my eye and then I'm just gonna point it out a little bit. Eye? Yes, you want a little bit? Eye. All right. Okay. Then this I... is to go on your face like this, okay? Here. Eye. Okay. There. Beautiful. 
You want more? Okay. Here you go. There's more. Oh, so beautiful. Nose? Nose? Okay. There you go. Put it on your nose. Oh, that's so cute. She likes to put highlighter on her own little nose. So yeah, so under the eye here, really tight to the eyelash. And then we may like point up on the end to try to create more of a cat eye. back because I let it air dry and it still has a little bit of body in it but it is a lot cuter since I got it um, since I did the blowout it is so much cuter so much less frizzy and you could still have all the beautiful curls you want okay so see I'm bringing it up to the top of my eye Near the lashes. Again, just trying to keep a tight line there. And one of these days, if I ever have the time, because this I had to kind of pull everything, get a last minute, because looks like my camera battery is finally charged, but it was taking so long to charge. And it's, it's moon now. And I started charging it around like 8 o'clock, and it just now charged. So, okay, so this one I, I think I have to use my other hand. I don't think I can do this without. We all know what we're good at and what we're not good at. And I'm an ambidextrous, and sometimes I can't. Oh, did you see what I just did? Oh my god. Oh, I smeared like dungeon all over my face. Oh, I can't believe I just did that. My beauty blender. Dinosaur. Okay, so let's try this again. This time let's not. What are you trying to do, sweetheart? What? What? Is that what you want? You want to go home? Is that better? No. No? I like it. I want to do a What do you want to do? Where is the bottom part of this thing? I don't want that. I want to get out. I am sorry, honey. I do not know how to work this Peppa Pig game. It's okay. I love it. Uh, it's not okay. Mommy can't figure out how to get it to work. Uh, do you know how to get out of there, Emma? No! No? Of course you don't. I got it. Huh. There. Thanks. You're welcome, silly thing. <sighs> okay. Now I'm going to use my crown mirror and try to get the top of this other eye. So. Just as tight as you can. Along the line there. I really like this crown mirror. It's a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. The box itself was heavy, but the mirror, the mirror's all right. I think that the lip, the uh, velour lip with lips were the heaviest part of that box. Because they're sturdy. She's a sturdy. She's a sturdy bee. She's a sturdy bee. It's not a good compliment if you're actually a person. Not that I've never heard that compl supposed compliment before. I 
I reacted as poorly as anybody would. It should be a general rule of thumb that you never tell a woman that she's sturdy. This furniture should be sturdy. Women should not. I mean, even if they are, like, you should not be the one to point it out. Okay, so. I don't know if my makeup looks even on both sides. It never usually does. It's such a struggle. I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only person that struggles with never having an even look on both eyes. It can't be. Alright, so we're going to clean these brushes after we're done. But let's go ahead and I'm going to take a little bit of wet jewel here, which is that pretty pink that I dug out a little bit by mistake because I'm an idiot on this brush here. We're just going to kind of, um, this is my blender brush, I'm just going to try to blend around the edges to soften it up a little bit. I will be using an uh, eyebrow product that will have like a little highlighter in it that I can finish this up with, but I tried to clean up the lines just a little bit. And then I'm going to use this flat brush to take what's left of that other purple color I had. The, um, the Take the Crown with that purple color here at the top. Go ahead and smudge a little bit of that under the old eyeball there. I do have a purple highlighter I'm going to use. All right, so that's that with that. Um, I think I'm gonna do a separate video for the swatch and do that real fast. Uh, let's go ahead and finish up this look. Beauty blender's all wet and ready. That was dirty sounding. Um, I'm perverted. I'm gonna take a little bit of, I use pure four in one, love your selfie. This is the color LN2. That's going to be my foundation today. I'm going to take a little bit from here. Start just dabbing her in there. I'm trying to clean up around my face where all the color is. And you can use it as a concealer, but I think because I'm just, this is a Jeffree Star product thing, I'm probably going to use some. Jeffree Star Concealer in a minute to just finish shaping up those eyes. And I pat and drag and do a little bunch of different little methods with my beauty blender to get the makeup blended the way I want it to. And I'm using, because I'm, I am using my um, iPad, I'm taking advantage of the fact that I'm using the iPad and using that as my mirror. And that way, to also add a benefit of that is that you guys can see clearly everything that I'm doing. And that makes for, in my opinion, a better instructional video. Not that you really want to do what I'm doing. I don't know. Everybody does their own thing, but you can at least see how I did something, which to me is super important. Because I hate these makeup videos where they do their makeup and you can't really ever see what they're doing because like something's in the way or something. It's really frustrating for me anyhow. Okay. And I just like to just not use a whole lot of product. I just like to blend it on into my skin really well. Because I just basically want to cover all the little red spots and imperfections that I have on my skin because I have a lot. Let's face it, nobody's perfect. The imperfections give us character anyhow. So let's just say I have tons of character. <laughs> okay. Um, you can use this this four in one as a concealer, but as I stated earlier, because I'm I'm in a Jeffree Star mood, we're gonna just use as much 
Jeffree Star that I have. Like I'm gonna use a little bit of everything that I have that's Jeffree Star today. Just a little bit more. Right. I'm really starting to like beauty blenders. At first I was just not, they were just not my jam. I just, you know, I used powders way back when I was one of those OG people that use the um, oh come on Sarah it'll come bare minerals I was a bare minerals person forever so that was what I like to use I use my C5 concealer Jeffree Star concealer and just pop just a little bit right here in the inner corner and a little bit right here in the inner corner, just below it. And then on the outer corner. Now this is another thing that, I, another little tip that I learned from watching Robert Walsh. And it's a good tip. Um, it'll keep your uh, concealer from creasing and looking, making you look older than you are, which is, Super important. I put a little bit too much. I went a little too heavy handed with it. But that's okay. It's just those, the Jeffree Star doe foot on their concealer is just puts out so much product that it's just, I feel like I'm wasting it if I don't use it. So you just take your finger, like your ring finger, and you just dab it in. Dab, 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 dab away. And then whatever, I mean, I, you can, I clearly use too much. Like I've, I've gone overboard. I'm gonna put it right in here because I have this spot in my, in between my eyes above my nose where it dips down and it makes me look like almost crow magnon and I like to just light that, lighten that up to take away that crow magnon esque look that I have. And that just got worse and worse as I got older. Like it was just sort of a thing when I was younger, but I just didn't think it would. I didn't think it would develop like it did, and it did. But you can get surgery to like repair that. You can get all kinds of surgery, but I don't want to. I don't want to even think about that. I just want to survive day to day, take care of my little girl, keep her healthy, play with her, have fun with her, and not worry about whether or not I look a certain way because to her. There's like this Pampers commercial that plays all the time and it talks about, it's like the kids, the, the babies talking to their mom and they tell them that they think that they're beautiful. And it makes me cry every time I watch it because I feel like that's just really how she is. She's just the sweetest little thing. She loves me unconditionally and she looks up to me for everything. And you're not supposed to do what I just did with dragging my finger. That's not good. You're not supposed to do that. Oh, I'm sorry, Robert Welsh. Please don't come for me. Please don't come for me. Like you would ever watch my my films. <laughs> I'm a nobody in the most extreme way. I'm a nobody. I'm like not even on the map of being a nobody. I'm just below nobody. Alright, so there is this. I cleaned it up quite a bit. <clears throat> now we're going to just go directly into high uh, contour. So I've got my brushes. Did I bring out my contour? Oh, my crazy self didn't bring out the contour. So we're not going to contour today. We're not even going to contour. That's fine. That's fine. Do I have any blush at least? Do you guys want to watch my kid for a minute? I don't know how to cut things out of my videos, so you can watch Emma play for a minute. Emma, you're on camera. Say hi to the people. and blush because I just don't know what I'm going to do without it. This is the Mascara Beauty. I sometimes think about getting into Mascara Beauty and becoming like a representative. So 
I really like the makeup. It reminds me a lot of RMC, yeah, RMCA. Um, and it works really, really well in a, just the way they, they, they teach you. Um, Kayla is the one that taught me. She was the artist I learned from. I feel like I'm still not smooth under that eye. Oh well, I'm just going to play outside with my child, but this is a look. We're supposed to be looking good. Looking good, Kooky. Chrissy Chandler would know what I'm talking about if she heard that. We haven't talked about that in a long time. There used to be a person that went to the same church as us and he had a really thick accent. And he'd say stuff like that to me. Like whenever he would see me, he'd say, Looky good. And um, one day, Christy was eating the cookie at my house. And she said that she couldn't help herself because they just looked so good. She had to have one. And then she started laughing and says, look, good, cookies. So it's like this little joke between us. Like, it's much funnier in the situation. If you had to be there, it had to be there. But, so now that's a thing that I do. Now, I don't go crazy with a contour because I already have a very heavily um, structured face. Like, I have, I have pretty good bone structure. Thank you, mom. She has those super high cheekbones. I got that from her. Um, so there's not a whole lot I have to do. I don't even really shorten my forehead much. I just like to add a little color here for warmth. And then I do contour my nose only because I have a really wide, big nose. <laughs> and yeah, I'm okay with it. I've, I've accepted the fact that I have a big nose. So I'm gonna use this blush here. This palette looks disgusting. Please don't judge me by my palette, but I'm just gonna put in a little bit of color in here. I'm not going crazy again. I'm just planning on playing with my kid. I just want my makeup to look decent. Um, we were gonna try to go get supper with her or lunch with her dad, but I think he's still he's still at the doctor's office. He had um um something removed off of his mouth and they had put stitches in it and he's been in a lot of pain and i feel for the man he's he's been through it with it but okay now i'm gonna blend with my little fluffy blender brush it's called the best blend um these brushes are amazing if you are ever have the opportunity to buy anything from, from that store and you don't know what to buy buy yourself the brushes they are amazing you can use them with other makeup they're not just, you know, made for one thing. You can use them with any brand and it, they work beautifully. But, you know, I use mostly the mascara contouring stuff. That's because Kayla picked it out for me and it's perfect. Um, I've tried the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I like it. And it's a cream contour kit, by the way. Um, but... It's not quite the same. I guess I'm just used to this and I'm used to using it and I know how to use it better. You see how quick and easy that comes to, your look comes together with this? It's just basically you're you're not you're just one and done kind of thing. I'm still not crazy about my eyes. I think I went a little too crazy with the color. And it's not neat as I would like it to be. One eye always looks better than the other. Just Tell me I'm not alone in this problem. Like, there's gotta be other women that have this problem, other men that have this problem. There's gotta be a thing with makeup where it just doesn't come out the same on both sides of the face. I'm gonna try to add a little bit more out here. That's why I wait to clean my brushes a little bit sometimes because you may wanna go back in and correct some things. If you don't, don't take all the color off, then you'll have plenty to work with. It's so deep in this one side, and then this bone sticks out so much. It's just so crazy. Hey, yeah, we are going to go on. I do have this highlighter. Um, it is the shade Nefri. I wasn't able to get the Extreme Frost, as you all know. I've 
mentioned it a million times so far, I know. And her brushes are all on the floor. She's back watching that one thing again. I'm gonna be so grateful to get her outside. I wish I was faster at this and we'd already be outside. I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose, my mouth. And Robert Walsh also says to put it all the places where the light hits your face because that's where you want to highlight. So I put it in the tops of my cheeks, like well, the cheek, the top of the cheekbone. And I'm going to put a little in here. I'm not going to need it in here, but I like it in here. And I didn't get the extreme frost and choking on ice, which I really wanted, but it's okay because I'm going to make do with what I've got. I kind of do have a tendency to gravitate towards the purple colors anyhow. Okay, so I'm going to have to blend all this in. I know it looks crazy right now. They're all probably thinking, what the heck is she doing? She looks bananas. I realize I look bananas. I'm doing that and blend. Blend out the highlight. We are gonna be over an hour. We are heading that way really, really fast. I need to learn how to edit a little bit better. And then I could cut like all this stuff out that's unnecessary. I'm gonna use Easy Breezy Brow. Move my brows real quick. Where's the brush? of course is in the blonde or brown I'm not sure which one but like a light brown I either always go for blonde or light brown for when I do brow products and then sometimes the bra blonde is still too dark so And this is basically like an eyeshadow, you can use some of your eyeshadows as brow products. And they were talking, I think Jeffree Star is talking about coming out with a, it's coming out with a neutral palette. And I'm kind of thinking that might end up be the one that I actually use on my brows. We'll see. I've used some of his eyeshadow on my brows before. Works out really well. Some of the ones from Jawbreaker. I'll sometimes put them through my brows. Just for fun. For kicks and giggles. Alright, so. And there's the highlight for that one. Put it in your inner corner. I like to just kind of blend it out a little bit. Blend it up. So add that highlight so that I can add light to the inner part of my eyes above the top, right around lining the side of the brow. I've already put some highlight there, but no more. Just the highlight that comes with this kit. All right, we're almost at an hour. We're like really close to an hour. Thank you for watching if you've watched this far. If you fast forwarded, I don't really mind. I'm still new, I'm still learning, and I didn't have my camera ready until now. And now I've already filmed all this, so I'm still gonna post this. Okay, so I found this stuff at um, Walmart. It's like a lash base, and then they have like a mascara that goes on top of it. I'm making a lot of noise on it. And I like using that because it helps grow out lashes. And it also has like a mascara, not mascara, eyeliner that you can buy too. And I bought the eyeliner, but I'm not really crazy about the eyeliner because it's one of those that has a brush thing. Okay, speaking of eyeliner, we need to line these eyes. I'm gonna use, that's right. I'm gonna use Stila. And I think it's, what is it called? 
influence amethyst or something yeah intense amethyst yes intense that is a good descriptive word for me as a person But yeah, I find that the, the eyeliners that have the brushes are harder to put on. And that used to be the only way that they did liquid eyeliners at one point in time. But they're still not my favorite. There's not. I like either the felt tip like this or I like the pencil eyeliners. I realize my thumb is really gross. I'm sorry. It's really dry and I keep putting the invisible band-aid thing on it. And it just looks really gross. Because it'll bl uh, bleed in the night and stuff like that. It's, 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 it's not fun. And I put so much hand sanitizer on right now that it's just making the drying and cracking problem worse. And that's my fault. I'm being crazy. I'm just being over protective. All right, so done with that. I'm gonna put this on first as my base, and it does kind of help me find my lashes too. And then we're gonna do lips and then we're done. And then we're gonna do a swatch video. But the swatch video will probably not come till another day or so. But I wanted to do the get ready with maybe I should put the swatch video out first. And yeah, I'm gonna go put up the swatch video out first and then the get ready with me will come second. That's decided there. And I don't know if I want to do a full lip or if I'm just going to do a gloss. I think I might try to do a full lip. We'll see. See how I'm feeling by the next couple of minutes here. But I really like this mascara. For Equate mascara, it's good. And it's made for people who have had eyelash extensions and got damage from them or are currently wearing eyelash extensions. So it's extremely gentle. And they have like a cleaning system and I got the cleaning system too. Because I'm just, just trying to grow these lashes out. If you hear like the trash trucks, my daughter's tablet, it is just so noisy. I guess one thing you could say is that my videos won't be boring. <laughs> okay, so for the lippy, it's one that's in this kit. Um, it is the Berries on Ice. You find it. I know it's in here. Yes, Berries on Ice. We're going to use that, and then we're going to put gloss over the top of that once that dries. But we're looking a little bit more close to being ready. Hold that brow here. All right, we're right at the 60 minute mark too. It's 59.14. Okay. Now I had on chapstick, but. Try this on my hand. 
like a million times. This is the first time it's been in my mouth. Yeah, I did a terrible job. Not the greatest at putting on lip stuff. But I try. It's not bad. It's a pretty color. It's really hard to mess up too bad. And it's just a really great lipstick. And he makes the best um, liquid lips out there. Sorry, they're just my fave. All right, so I just put a light layer of this on. Beautiful component, beautiful packaging. Now let it dry, and then I'm gonna top it with one of my new glosses. I am going to use Lord Star because that's the one that I wanted to use, which is this beautiful baby doll. And away we go. I think we're dry enough. Oh, that's so pretty. And I didn't even do a good job. Way to save my makeup, Jeffrey. Thank you. we're done I'm gonna set this in a minute with some setting spray but you guys made it through the whole video congratulations good job and Emma is getting super bored and playing on her tablet and I need to go do stuff with her but I'm gonna do a very quick swatch video I'll post that first and then I'll post this after but hope everybody's doing good thank you so much for watching me my me review and do the get ready with me for my bloodlust collection Love you guys all. Peace out, homies. Bye-bye.